welcome back to part 3 of the Lahar rebuild. In this video I will be rebuilding the stuff that broke, so the gearbox needs fixed, strips and threads, the gearbox also needs a kind of oil change and a service, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change some worn chain rings which I thought were okay but I think they've maybe got a bit of wear on them and with the new chain and stuff they're skipping a bit. And I've also got some nice what about finishing touches that I've got for it too. So let's get into it. With the accident that happened, it's bent this plate. So I'm gonna need to straighten that. This one here, this one's fine, but it's stripped the threads on here. So this one might be a bit of an issue. The top one will be totally fine to and put the insert in. I'm now gonna uh, drill these out and fit these little like stainless steel inserts. One done, it just needs trim now. This one's putting a bit more difficult because there's a kind of inside lip as you can sort of see there. So I'm just going to have to put that insert in and then I'm going to have to uh, just shave the threads down a wee tiny bit. So I fitted the, the washers now, this kind of new threads, so like an insert made of stainless steel, I've cut them on the other side, I just need to uh, take the kind of edge off this one so that the, the roll off will fit back onto it when I go to do it, because the thread's kind of quite close to it. Right, so one last thing to do, uh, I've got these titanium bolts, these are original uh, for the swinging arms, but I could only get them in kind of big, a big size, it's like 65 so I'm going to need to cut them down and make them kind of work. change out the old freewheel which I think was knackered. Another thing, so this chain ring here fits on the carrier that goes to the back wheel. Uh, on these five bolts, 24 tooth, it's got big holes, so I'm going to have to get the new one, get the old one, size the holes for it, measure the holes on the carrier, and I'm going to have to drill new ones. Next part, can I service the roll-off? Well, wish me luck. So, in the roll-off instructions for servicing it, you're kind of meant to do it in the bike. Put in the oil, you're meant to run it for between a kilometre. Obviously, this is a bit different because it's not in the bike. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cleaning oil in, and then I'm just going to put the, the chain on. Just turn it with my hands, basically. Do it for like 10 minutes. 3mm arm key oil change kit comes with a syringe, oil and the changing cleaning solution.
one eternity later. So, I followed instructions, done the, the, the cleaning out of the roll off, left it for 15 minutes, turned it between gears three and five, kept shifting. So now I'm gonna drain it, and then I'm gonna get the, the all season oil in, which are meant to change once a year or every 5,000 kilometers. Mine's was changed about 10 years ago. So, on to stage two. So to finish it off, I've got these uh, top caps from my friends at Hazard Racing, uh, thanks to Joe Barnes for these. So a nice finishing touch to the bike now, so I'm going to fit these and then it's going to be ready to roll. Right, so that's the bike back together. Fixed all the issues, fixed the mounts, changed all the tie bolts that hadn't been done. Had to space the cranks out a little bit because they were it's very tight to the frame because of the way the frame's made. The bottom bracket's in quite a bit and it kind of curves out so you can end up getting kind of frame strike. It was just striking the, the new bolts that I've installed. And that's the bike totally finished now. Uh, and hopefully it'll be ready for the trails. The big price. So, for everything that I purchased for the bike, it was wait for it six thousand five hundred and fifty pounds. So, quite a sizable investment into the bike. But as I said in another video, it's definitely been worth it because I'll ride it for a long time now. I hope you've enjoyed part one, part two, and the final part. I'm blown away at how many people have actually watched the, the series so far. Um, I never thought that many people would be interested in my kind of old downhill mountain bikes that I was rebuilding. But uh, there's a lot more to come, and I'm looking forward to sharing some other like videos that I've got in the pipeline that I'm working on now. Uh, so thanks for watching, please drop a like below if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.